Good morning, California. All right, guys, we have the two babies outside and both of them are getting sold in the near future. This one, I'm honestly in no rush. After getting everything fixed, I've been honestly really enjoying driving this car. So I'm actually in no rush with this one. This one, we we just don't need it. We bought it for that one video and uh, we need it gone now. So the goal is today is to wipe up the dust because I made this thing absolutely perfect. I want to see it perfect every single morning that I wake up. Let's go and wipe the dust off of that one and let's go ahead and detail this bad boy and just get it ready to be sold. Yeah, guys, we are in the 335. Let's go ahead and get this thing a proper wash. This bottle, I've used it for two cars now in the interior, and I've only put up probably about a 10% dent in this thing. So the bottle doesn't spray a lot at the same time, which is actually pretty awesome. We finished the whole interior pretty much with one, literally a, like a, a 20th, because we used a 20th yesterday and a 20th today. You get a good value for your money right here. heading home and there's absolutely zero lights the alignment's perfect everything works in this car it just really hurts to trade it in now obviously trading it in is an option they'll give us about forty eight hundred to five thousand dollars at carmax this is from what i got online they have a quote system online and they basically quoted forty eight hundred to five thousand and i was just thinking if carmax is willing to offer that much how much does offer up offer i did some research and this car is currently going for because the market's high this car is currently going for like eighty five to nine thousand dollars with the current miles i'm gonna go ahead and price it at seven thousand dollars considering that there's a slight ticking sound whether it's a big deal or not the car isn't misfiring the car is driving amazing zero lights on the dash smogged and a clean title with only 104,000 miles so i'm gonna put up for 7k see if we have any bites later today uh but yeah let's get home install that uh vacuum pump install those vacuum lines detail the engine bay put it up for sale and uh let's see if we can sell a car tonight for around seven thousand dollars even if we get a little bit under honestly i'm okay with it because uh worst comes to worst we'll take five thousand from carmax best comes to best we get seven thousand dollars it's a win-win regardless considering how much we got the car for so uh let's get home and go ahead and put in that vacuum pump <laughs> all righty guys we finally got the package for the vacuum pumps so i mean not the vacuum pumps the vacuum canisters this should be the two canisters with the bracket and these are our brand new vacuum lines as well so once we do all this the car is gonna be absolutely perfect so let's just go ahead and get that done i think it's uh i think it should be a pretty easy install So yeah, guys, from the last video, we actually took out the vacuum hose that went to that boost solenoid earlier to put onto the 7 Series. So now I have to put a new line from the boost solenoid to the tank and from the tank back to that line down there. This car never came with the vacuum tanks, but this thing's gonna look OEM once we're done with it. And
And just like that, guys, we've got the two pumps in there, the new vacuum lines all installed. We are literally good to go. So all this coolant overspray was because of the incident that you guys saw. I got a new hose in there as well. So let's go ahead and just clean all this up so when people come to look at the car, it'll pretty much look perfect because literally the whole car is absolutely perfect, guys. I'm in love with how perfect this, I've never seen such a clean platform to start working on, mainly because every 335 out there, guys, is literally all super modified. This is 100,000 miles, never been modified. So that's why I kind of like this car. Just, I mean, it's kind of weird to think, but I actually like cars that are not modified when I buy them. So I kind of want to just clean all this up just so when people look in the engine bay, they're not like, oh my goodness, what happened here, you know? That's what I'm talking about, boys. Guys, this is the next day. I think I'm a possible buyer for the 335. I'll keep you all posted. Guys, so I just made a folder with everything inside, including the pink slip smog. Everything is good to go. The buyers did come and look at the car, but something new just came up today. I've been driving this car all week, and we haven't had any issues with it. That's why it's actually parked right here. It's not parked somewhere else. It's literally parked in front of my truck because I drive this so much, it doesn't matter where I park it. We did have buyers that came for the car, but as they were test driving the car, a service engine light did come up, and it came back for cylinder three. That being said, um, I told him like, hey, I, we already did spark plugs, ignition coils. There's a ticking sound as well. I mean, a ticking sound is not that big of a deal personally. I mean, as long as the car runs and drives perfectly fine, that ticking sound is not a big deal. But I told him like, hey, uh, I want $7,000 for the car. That's what I initially wanted. I took it out of CarMax. They offered me $4,800 for the car. Um, so end of the day, I told him like, honestly, this car is having some issues. And uh, this literally came out of nowhere. As we were test driving the car, he drove down two hours. But yeah, after two hours of him driving down here, it had a misfire. And honestly, I feel bad when someone drives out here to look at a car and then it ends up not being exactly what they wanted so i said hey you know what let's go ahead and uh let's do 48 uh five thousand dollars for the car like i'll go ahead and drop it two grand uh for this issue so worst comes to the worst honestly if he needs a new motor he can put a new motor in it whatever it may be two thousand dollar savings i just i just like hey bro you can have it for five grand i'm pretty much still doubling up with my money you guys know i put about 25 to 2600 into this car he gets a car so worst comes to worst it is a clean title it is smogged and registered everything is good to go because everything was running perfectly fine until today so he will be able to put it under his name everything will be gravy in the navy but at least at the same time morally i feel better i didn't like overprice the car he got a good deal i obviously got a good deal as well and he's coming right now with the money on hand and hopefully we'll be selling this uh this 335 clean title with 104,000 miles literally an absolute mint condition this is a very 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 clean 335 plus the cup holders all work like anywho i'll check at you guys once they actually get here and just like that guys saying goodbye but yeah guys we are at the end of the video the 335 is officially sold he did come by here and he offered me 4800 instead of the five grand we agreed over the phone after you know all the price drops but i told him I was like hey i honestly i don't know what's wrong with the car we already did all the things in that injector you know we did the spark plug ignition coil fuel injector everything and it's still cylinder three misfire so i told him hey i don't want to deal with it i write off a bill of sale you can have it for 4800 dollars everyone's happy, right? But just know, I'd rather trade into CarMax and sell it to you because I don't know if it has major issues. And he's like, you know what? I'll take it. I was like, all right, cool. Sign the bill of sale, sign the pink slip game in the smog. Everything was good. Couple days later though, he hits me back up and he's like, hey, Nor, yeah, I, I think that it, it, there's a cylinder issue, like that particular cylinder has damage in it and that's what's causing all those issues. And I'm like, oh my God, that is pretty bad. Now I already took that money because this is a couple days later and I put it down on the I-8. Whenever I get a big chunk of money, I'm putting it towards the I-8 so I can have that paid off sooner. Now, I told him like, hey, okay, you're gonna have to give me a few weeks to get that money back for you. Um, but I mean, yeah, we could probably try to work out something and give you, cause he was freaking out. He's like, I really need my money back. This is too much money I put on a car that, I mean, clearly has too many issues more than he expected. And honestly, he should have known that when I already dropped the price down almost half. And uh, you know, I, he signed a bill of sale stating this is as is. And I told him I replaced everything in the cylinder, but end of the day, he still wanted the car and I still felt super, super, super bad. So I was gonna take back the car, but I told him give me a few weeks to get the money together. But ultimately we came down to an agreement. We gave him $500 back on top. So basically he got the car for 4,300 bucks, clean title, 104,000 miles, 335 buy that's in absolutely mint condition. And also past smart. Cause again, it was running perfectly fine before he came and showed up. But thankfully again, that it broke down in front of him and he got that really good price because ultimately now if he needs a new motor or anything, um, he was perfectly happy with that reimbursement. I gave him some of his money back and then now he just wants to honestly keep the car and fix it so moral of the story is the car is gone that's great but at the end of the day is i just want to put it out there guys that an n54 is an absolute nightmare like honestly i've had so many n54s in my life and it's been nothing but trouble yeah there is a lot of power gains from that car but ultimately as somebody that just likes to drive a car here and there and not actually go down to the track or you know drag race or any of that stuff with that car it's not worth the headache like just look at the 740 li i think it's giving me so many issues and that is a n54 my 130 
285 after replacing a lot of things on it, it still won't pass smog. And you know, the car looks perfectly fine, but there's a lot of issues. But we're getting everything sorted and that's how everything goes by. You know, we're, we're trying to fix every little thing, but just N54s, everything can get fixed. Not a big deal, but it's just all money. And anyway, that pretty much concludes this video. So the 335 is sold. I'm super happy about that. But now the owner is pretty happy with that reimbursement. He is getting, he's sourcing his new parts. He's getting that car fixed. The next goal right now is to sell the 740 Li. So wish me luck, guys. Hopefully in the next video, we will have that car sold. And we are just trying to knock things out so we can start working on this M5 because I am super stoked for that build. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Prepare for the best content ever. Once we get all these other little hoop tees out of here, we're going to finally focus on the V10 M5 Beast. I am so excited for that build. So if you guys are excited also, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.